Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make this silky smooth rich and creamy pastry cream. This French pastry cream can be used in so many different desserts. You can use it to fill cakes, cupcakes, donuts, eclairs and the options are endless. It's made with a handful of pantry staple ingredients so without further ado, let's get started. Start off by combining some egg yolks, a whole egg and granulated sugar along with some cornstarch and vanilla extract in a medium sized bowl. The egg yolks give richness and creaminess to the pastry cream, giving it that silky smooth custard-like texture. And adding in a whole egg also gives the pastry cream structure and stability. You're going to mix all of these ingredients together until it's nice and incorporated. You don't want any lumps of cornstarch left in this mixture. The entire written recipe along with tips and tricks and storage instructions is available on my blog and you can find a link to that in the description box below. Once the mixture looks something like this, let's move on to the next step. In a medium sized saucepan, I'm going to add in 2 cups of whole milk. You could use skimmed milk, but I prefer using whole milk, it makes the custard so much more richer and creamier. Place that on medium flame and then cook this until the milk starts to simmer. Now we're going to slowly pour the milk into the egg mixture while whisking constantly. This step is called tempering the eggs and you want to make sure to be very slow because we don't want to cook the eggs, we just want to make a nice creamy mixture. Start off by pouring the milk super slow and then once you've poured about half of it, you can go a little bit faster. Alright, once both of those mixtures are incorporated, we're going to go ahead and pour this egg mixture back into the saucepan and then we're going to place this saucepan back on medium flame and cook that while whisking until the mixture thickens. You want to make sure to keep stirring constantly to achieve a lump-free pastry cream. This process is actually very quick, it only takes about 2-3 to three minutes to thicken up, so don't walk away and keep stirring and don't make the flame higher, you don't want to burn your cream. As you can see, the cream is nice and thick and it is starting to simmer, so we're going to take it off the heat. And now this next step is optional, but I like to add in a little chunk of butter. This makes the cream extra rich and creamy. Give that a mix until the butter is fully melted and mixed into the cream. And that's it. All I'm doing now is cleaning up the sides of the pan using a spatula, and then I'm going to transfer this into a separate clean bowl. And that's it, that's how easy it is to make this pastry cream. All you have to do now is cool it and then you can use it in your desserts. Before we set this aside to cool, you want to make sure to cover it with plastic wrap and make sure that the plastic wrap is touching the surface of the custard directly. This is going to prevent a skin from forming. Let that sit at room temperature for 10 to 15 minutes and then you can pop that in the refrigerator for at least 2 hours to cool down completely. The pastry cream can be refrigerated for 2-3 to three days which means you can make this 2-3 to three days ahead of time. Now once the cream is chilled, it will look a little bit hard and lumpy like this. This is totally normal. Just give it a good mix with a spatula and it's going to come back to its creamy, silky, smooth consistency. And that's how simple and easy it is to make this rich and delicious French pastry cream. It can be used in numerous desserts and it goes especially well in eclairs and donuts. I'm actually using this as a filling in my upcoming fall flavored donut recipe video so make sure to stay tuned for that and if you haven't already remember to subscribe to the food flamingo for more easy and delicious recipes just like this one like the video if you liked it and comment down below if you tried this recipe or if there's anything else you'd like me to make and as always thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time